Whoa, that mirror is dirty. Morning guys, I'm absolutely tired. It's seven past eight. I've only had three hours of sleep, like even less than that according to my Fitbit. And I've got to go to work, so I'm heading out. This is the first time I've actually done my makeup the way I used to always do it. And I don't know if I did all right. Like I'm a bit questionable about the eyebrows. But let's go to work. Oh God. I feel really like, like I'm gonna have a really big headache. Let's go to work, let's go to work. I haven't been to work in like three weeks now. So let's go. It's foggy. It looks like it's been raining a lot. This is crazy. Like I don't even know about my outfit. I didn't even know what I should wear. I was going to wear something because I'm a rear dress. And then I said. Forget that. The weather's horrible. Okay. Let's go to work. Uh, I'm here. I've made it to work. It's quarter past and I need to get work at half past. I'll probably move my bottom in about five minutes. Just give myself five minutes. I think I deserve that, don't I? Uh, it's groggy. It's a horrible day. Uh, traffic wasn't too bad on the way here. It wasn't bad at all. There was barely any cars. There's a couple, but not too many. Uh, yesterday, I didn't vlog as much as I thought I would. So I'll see you when I go home. If I have enough footage to post today. If not, I'm going to post tomorrow. Thank you guys for the response for my yesterday's video. Yesterday's video? No, sorry. The My day four of Ramadan vlog. Um, it's gotten some good views. And thank you for everyone who's being so nice on there as well. Um, but you guys are always nice, aren't you? So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm surprised that Amanda and the other geezer are on the radio right now. Because I listen to Heart FM. I'm surprised that they're there. Because I wouldn't think the radio stations would be working right now. But I guess they are. Okay, I think I've seen someone pull up into work, so I'm going to head off. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. How y'all doing? I am back from work, and my back and my shoulders are absolutely killing. I haven't stood up for that long in such a long time, and I had no idea what to wear. So, I wore this black top on. It has, like, this. Looks like it's inside-outside shirt. I have that on, and then uh, these are my trousers. I thought I was recording that whole time and I guess I wasn't. Okay, let me show you guys my clothes again. So this black top right here, it has like this inside out kind of seam situation. Um, and this was from Asda. It's like a baggy top, but it's a bit on the sheer side. Can you see my fingers? So I wore a grey top underneath. And this grey top is from Matcha. It's super soft and it like goes up to the neck area. So it's a lovely top. And um, yeah... Let me know, guys, how you actually style your checkered trousers because I know a lot of people wear white with it, but is there not any other colours that you can wear? Because I struggled today with my outfit. I was supposed to wear a dress, but it was raining and I didn't feel like it. And I felt so cold at work all day. Um, this scarf, obviously, I had to wear this brown one because I thought I couldn't find my lighter neutral brown scarf. And I've noticed in all of my videos, it looks like I'm wearing the same scarf all the time. And I promise you guys, I'm not. Yeah, I have a bunch of scarves that are all in the same, like, that are all brown but are different shades of brown. So that's why they always, it always looks like I'm wearing the same scarf all the time. Anyway, so I vlogged the morning when I got up and I had to go to work and I'm absolutely knackered right now. And I was, the morning literally felt like it was so slow. Um, we did maths and English and in the middle of maths, I just, I was just saying to the kids how much I actually miss um helping and supporting them and helping them answer questions and i was thinking in my head i was like i'm gonna get to a point where i get so delusional that i'll be asking all my teddy bears what the answer to a question is because i miss the kids so much i actually do miss them so and i miss working with them so it was really nice to go to work today the afternoon was a bit on the because the kids had to come up with a rap based on a story they watched which i thought was such a cool idea but and it took them a couple of hours and then we played that game where you have a letter of the alphabet and you have to come up with a name female name male name country food item vegetable fruit 
and um, so on so we did that for about 45 minutes and that was actually quite fun got me thinking and i need to learn more names of fruit and vegetables as well as countries um so yeah that was really cool but i'm absolutely knackered and then at quarter past three most of the kids had gone so i was allowed to go a little bit early but then i went and checked in on my area because we have a school where uh, the two schools are joined together but we were on the infants we like we are situated in the infants during this whole pandemic um so that's where we're working so it's a bit out of our comfort zone because i actually work in a junior school so um i went to the juniors to see if i could get my pay slip but they um the person I need to speak to was an in, but I saw a couple of teachers and said hello to them. That was nice. Um, but yeah, I decided to go to Poundland. I didn't think I was going to spend 45 minutes in Poundland. So I've got a Poundland haul for you guys and I spent 30 quid. Who spends 30 quid in Poundland? Like £10? Okay, £30? I had no idea I could spend that much. But And then I was going to go to Iceland. And when I saw the queue, because I was going to get some vegetable lasagnas, but I'm just like... I'm not going to risk it because I literally put my stuff in the car to go to Iceland and then Iceland had a massive queue and I was like, mate, that ain't even worth it because I just wanted to get vegetable lasagnas and the thought of the vegetable vegetable lasagnas not being there, I was just like, forget that. And then I need to buy cheese as well, so I don't know whether I should go to Home Bargains or not. I do really want to go to B&M though. Um, I tried to pick up a frame from Palan to help me make one of those felt boards but they didn't have any felt either so I just said forget it I'll do it next time when I get a chance and buy the frame when I know I'm sure but I bought a bunch of stuff and I'd like to share what I bought with you guys if I can stop rambling right now but my shoulders are killing I just need to go to sleep I need to I kept thinking to myself I need to eat I need to eat and I was gonna pick up a sandwich from Palan by the way Palan are not selling sandwiches anymore but yeah there was no work the sandwiches there and on top of that I was like mate you're fasting okay I found Jaffa cakes I have been craving Jaffa cakes in such a long time and I couldn't find them anywhere and they sold like the individual packs for like ATP or something like that in Morrison's and I was like no I know I can get two packs the 24 pack for a pound and I found it in Poundland so I picked that up I got some floor wipes. These ones have more in there compared to the ones that I bought from from Asda. And they had way less in there. And these ones are, look extra big and they look good. So I bought them. It's always good to get cleaning supplies. Now this is like gold dust. I can't believe I got my hands on this. And the, these are £2 in Poundland. Um... And at first I didn't know, I thought they were going to be a bit more expensive and I didn't know if they had like the you're only allowed two items threshold situation, but they didn't. So I picked up, this one is in the flavour, pomegranate paradise. And I've never actually used Dettol spray for like spraying on furniture and stuff like that. So, but I've seen a lot of people using this and I was just like, this is a good idea to like spray your bag and stuff when you come back home um, and stuff like that spray smelly things so i picked up four of those can't believe they allowed me to pick up that many but then they were two pounds so most of my supplies that i've bought were cleaning supplies that's where the 30 pound went i didn't know if i should have picked more but i think that's enough for me right now because i'm i am getting i am cleaning as much as i can but it's like it's not as bad as it was in the beginning where i was literally doing it every day wasting our everyday cleaning um so that's good a snack for when I'm starving and I'm wanting my cup of tea and I want a little snack with it, a little bite. These are the foxes. I'm getting really hungry right now. Chunky cookies, milk chocolate chunks. And they are very decadent. So if you're not like into heavy sweet stuff, then maybe not. But if it's just like once in a while, one cookie's enough as well and it tastes really nice. I bought this. I don't know if I should have. It's a white gloss spray paint and it was a pound in Poundland. And I thought I have that mirror behind me, this brown one. And I don't know if I should paint it white. Because the thing is, let me tell you guys, my door's brown. My bookshelf is brown. My mirror is the same shade of brown as my bookshelf. And then I have this board here that is, I think I should spray the board white first and see how that goes first. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then if I like it, because this is gloss white, I think that'll look nice. Then I'll probably paint the mirror. So I picked that up. Do a bit of DIY. I picked up an eyebrow pen. Now this pen is really 
um, interesting. This is from W7. It's called Brow Broadway Liquid Brow Shaper. And the thing I found, the applicator on this is so interesting. I'm actually going to try it right now. Although I'm actually quite happy with my brows today. But look at that. It's literally like a felted pen. But I feel like you'll be able to get good brows from it. Yeah. Look, you can get really small strokes. That is cool. I feel like I'm going to enjoy using this. I'm going to use this with you guys in a bit later on when my um, when I don't have anything on my eyebrows. And I could share that with you guys. Remember those waffles I bought a couple of days ago and then I said we were going to eat them the next day. We didn't end up eating them because I was because it just never happened. So then I picked up this whipping cream. And these were 75p. By the way, the Fox's biscuits were 75p. And yeah. I picked up three bottles of this because I was like, this will be really nice with the waffles for sure. So I picked up those. I got some cheese and onion crisps because the Walkers ones have gone pricier or they have less in their packets now. Oh no! This one was open. I hope there's still six in there. Yeah, there used to be seven in those packets, by the way, before. That's another one of those. This is the squirty topping. I'll tell you what was so nice when I was in Panland. There was a guy that approached me. There was a guy that approached me. And I always find it really weird when people approach me and they say, excuse me, um, can it, have you got a moment? I'm just like, no. It reminds me of those people that want to advertise their stuff and try to make you buy things. Because I had a bad experience with one person. But this guy, he stopped me. And then he was like, excuse me, excuse me. And then he goes, oh, I'm sorry to disturb you, but um, I'm try I'm going to be making some, I want to make some bread for my next door neighbours and they're Muslim. And I just wanted to know if they were allowed to eat yeast. And I was like, yeah, yeah, we can eat yeast. And then he goes, oh, okay, thank you. Like, it was, bless him. He, like, I think he was nervous to talk to me as well. And I was a bit confused when he was looking at me. But, um, yeah, I was like, oh, what a sweet gesture. That's so sweet, taking care of your neighbours like that. Oh, I wish we had people like that around here. Brioche. I love eating these, what they call pain or chocolates. And I like eating these as a quick snack. So I had to pick them up. My mum specifically sent me to go shopping today to get freezer bags, which I did. And, and black bags, because we've run out of black bags. I bought these. These look like they're really, really cheap. But it's better than not having a black bag in your bin. Because yesterday, my mom she put one of the, you know, the circle bin liners. She put that in there and then it, ha it couldn't cover the whole bin because it was small. So then half of our rubbish ended up on the side. And I'm just like, oh my God, someone's going to have a bad time cleaning that up. So I bought that. I picked up this yogurt and mint because my nephew was asking about it the other day. I actually don't like this that much because it's sweet. I prefer fresh mint yogurt like if your mum makes it you know that type but i bought this as a backup just in case and then here's another black bag situation i couldn't find any like i wanted to get tins uh like cupcake tins and just general baking tins and palan didn't have any they had like the flat ones and they're quite small so i said forget about that but i did buy some greaseproof paper for when we're cooking so then we don't have to keep washing the pans that we're using. Nearly there. I picked up this. Now I wasn't sure if I should pick this up because we already have one in our room. You guys have probably seen it appear but we've had this one for such a long time and I wasn't sure if it was the same size. Oh yes, it's the same size. This is a two litre one and these are just so cute. So I had to pick up another one so I can replace this one. Hopefully this one is just as good. Um, but this one is getting old and dingy, so I thought we'd get a new one. And that was a pound. It be in like the cute section of uh, fun summer stuff, like picnicy stuff. Okay, I'm already a bit questionable about the lid. Oh no, that's fine. That should be fine. Yeah. And if you're not careful, because of the water, hard water, um, this rubbery part gets. Oh, this is actually better. <gasps> this is better because the one on the other one, the rubbery part, you push it down too much and it pops out and this one doesn't. Oh, I like this one better. For sure, the kids can't mess up this one. Um, and yeah, this is £2 and it's super cool. And you do get your 2 litres in here, so if you drink one of these and that's it, that's your 2 litres met. I picked up 
Kit Kat bars because I was craving Kit Kats. And they're like the cheapest chocolate bar with the most chocolate these days that you can get. I picked up some dry shampoo. I don't know if I should have. This is the Pantene Pro V dry shampoo instant refresh and it's a small one. So I said I'd give it a go, see if it's nice. I use, I don't typically use dry shampoo. I'm not that bothered because I wear a scarf on. But I thought it'd be nice to try. And then I picked up some batteries because they're, I don't know if the battery is working in my remote control for my Canon my Canon remote control because I tried it the other day and it wouldn't it didn't work so I don't know why it's not working it should be unless I've killed the battery already um, this one takes CR2025 which we do have two of them here so that's good I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the batteries though but this is a Duracell battery so I don't know why it hasn't lasted as long as it should do yeah I don't know I don't know I'll have to figure that out and then the last thing I picked up was this this is the Bristol's ultra hold hairspray and she'll tell you why I bought this maybe sometimes for if I'm styling my hair trying to get that curly hair vibe look because you know I tried that uh, putting uh, um, your robe thing on top of your head and then twisting it so you know that TikTok trend, I did try that and I literally nearly gave my broke my head because I, I nearly ripped the hair out of my head from how tight I did that and I regretted doing it because of how tight I'd done it but I've learned my lesson now and I know you can still get a nice curl if you just do it not lightly, like not pull your hair too much but I also, I bought that for that but also for my eyebrows because I feel like this will give me this will keep my eyebrows in place i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try it on a spoolie and then see if it will brush my eyebrow hairs up and yeah that was everything that i picked up from poundland let me know what you guys have been buying from the shops for ramadan and i'll talk to you guys in a bit because i have a meeting that i need to rewatch because i missed on one from work and uh, i still need to get changed we know yes see you in a bit iftar for the day I actually didn't go downstairs and help because I had work and I was knackered and then I was taking a shower and I just about made it on time. So we got lots of fruit. My waffle made an entrance finally. A uh, finger of pizza. <laughs> oh, there's a different smells today. And this is what I'm looking forward to the most. That looks delicious. It's rice and I think it's some kind of chicken masala situation. Okie dokes, I'm going to dive in. Talk to you in a bit. I'm lying in bed because I'm cold. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm getting ill. But here's my plain waffle. Ready to turn it into a gloriousness. Of, but watch the magic of this beauty. And here we have it. It's turned into a brand new cake. Did I put too much cream on? I think not. Time for me to enjoy with my drama. I'm actually glad I put cream on this because... This waffle is a little bit on the salty side. I don't understand that. I thought it would be full of sugar, but it's a bit salty. So the cream is fixing that saltiness because I don't like salt in my desserts, man. I do not like salt in my desserts. 